speed of light. You must have heard that speed of light is the ultimate speed limit of this universe. But wait, things can go faster than the speed of light in certain medium. But I would like to specify here, in certain medium. To observe this phenomena, you just need a nuclear reactor core and some water. Before understanding how things go faster than speed of light, let's talk about sound waves. So you may have dropped a pebble in water before. You see circular waves growing from the region where you dropped the pebble. These circular waves are called wavefront. So that's a two-dimensional surface. Same goes on with sound waves, only that they are a three-dimensional sphere instead of a two-dimensional circles. So now what if the source is also moving, like an airplane? The sound waves produced by the airplane gets punched in front of the plane as it is moving faster. And as the plane approaches supersonic speeds, that is faster than speed of sound, the pressure drops and the sonic boom. So now let's talk about the thing we all are here for. So when a thing goes faster than speed of light, in water it radiates Cherenkov's radiation. It's in a way similar to a sonic boom. Pavel Cherenkov discovered this radiation in 1934. So the speed of light in vacuum is the fastest speed that something can travel through space in this universe. But when light travels through a medium, it can slow down. For example, when light travels through water, its speed is 75% of the speed of light. So now let's talk about Cherenkov's radiation. So the electrically charged particle that makes up the high energy radiation which comes out of a nuclear reactor can travel faster than the light. So these electrically charged particles are surrounded by an electromagnetic field. So these fields can propagate by help of photons. And photons travel at the speed of light. As I told you before, is less in water. So from the examples I gave before of the sonic boom, we can conclude that as the electrically charged particle travels faster than the speed of light in water, electromagnetic field, which is made of a photon, cannot catch up with the particle itself. And then, just like a sonic boom, we have a photonic boom. Radiating Cherenkov radiation, which is visible as blue light. So as we saw before, when we break the sound barrier, there's a sonic boom, a loud noise. And now we saw when we break the light barrier, there's a photonic boom or an emission of light. So this was it for today. Thanks for watching. Like the video, share the video. Comment down below with the suggestions. So I upload every Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.